So recently online, I've seen the increase of the use of a new term when people are talking about anime and its fans. That term is ironic weebs. Now I've seen ironic weebs mainly referenced in uh, starter pack memes and generally people complaining about how much they fucking hate them. Now people have hated normal weebs for a long time. On the tier list of weird nerd fandoms, weebs are probably pretty far towards the bottom. Even political pundits have used people sitting in basements and jerking off to Japanese cartoons as an insult. But the fact of the matter is most of them are childless single men who masturbate to anime. These are not people who matter in the, in the overall course of humanity. But this complaint about ironic weebs tends to be a little more nebulous and sort of hard to define. Now you would think that this is just complaining about people being weebs ironically. People using weeb memes, people making weeb jokes, without actually being weebs themselves. And to an extent, that's sort of what it is, but it goes a little bit deeper than that. So let's try to explore what the fuck is an ironic weeb. To start on our journey, first we have to look at what are the three types of irony. So first there's verbal irony, which is saying one thing and meaning another. The use of words expressing something other than their literal intention. Now that is irony. A good example of this would be, oh, I can't wait to see her again. Or, wow, he seems like a real genius. Pretty basic standard form of irony, and I, it's really not what we're working with here. The next would be dramatic irony. This is something you see in stage plays and TV shows a lot. It's anytime the audience knows something, but a character doesn't. And the last kind of irony, and this is what we're going to be dealing with, is when the opposite of what you expect to happen happens. Irony deals with opposites. It has nothing to do with coincidence. If two baseball players from the same hometown on different teams receive the same uniform number, it's not ironic. It's a coincidence. Irony is, quote, a state of affairs that is the reverse of what was to be expected, a result opposite to and in mockery of the appropriate result, unquote. For instance, if a diabetic on his way to buy insulin is killed by a runaway truck, he is the victim of an accident. If the truck was delivering sugar, he is the victim of an oddly poetic coincidence. But if the truck was delivering insulin, ah, then he is the victim of an irony. So when you look at it through the lens of situational irony, ironic weebs would be people that are doing weeb things specifically because it is the last thing you would expect them to do. This is where pretty much any kind of ironic detachment comes from. If somebody's watching a movie ironically, they're doing it because you would never expect somebody to genuinely enjoy watching that movie. If somebody is wearing clothes ironically, they're wearing something that looks stupid and nobody would ever genuinely wear. In essence, enjoying something ironically is a critique of that thing. Of course, it's not always that simple. There's a lot of people, including myself, that love watching terrible movies, and I don't feel like I do it out of any sense of irony. When the guys at Red Letter Media do an episode of Best of the Worst, are they doing that only out of a sense of irony? I would argue no. I think there's a great deal of schadenfreude and other factors that go into it. Like Rich Evans' sexy, sexy body. And what about movies that are intentionally bad? Do we like those for the same reason? Honestly, it's kind of hard to say. The whole understanding of what makes things humorous and enjoyable is kind of fuzzy at best, and could be a topic for an entire video on its own. But I think the key thing to focus on, at least in this respect, is that sense of ironic detachment, that shield that one can throw up just as an excuse to avoid people critiquing the thing that they like. I mean, we've all heard that, oh, you know, I know it's dumb, but I just watch it because it's so dumb. I just like watching, how, watching it for how dumb it is. And that's a really terrible excuse, but that shield of that ironic detachment of doing it ironically kind of is pervasive in a lot of the way we enjoy media at this point. 
And when it really comes down to it, I think that this ironic detachment is frustrating for two reasons. The first reason being what I mentioned before, that when you enjoy something ironically, you're effectively saying that it can't be enjoyed genuinely, and you're kind of shitting on everybody that actually enjoys that thing. But the other is that it just seems really disingenuous. When someone's enjoying something ironically, or claiming to enjoy something ironically, they sometimes seem like they're really just trying to hide the fact that they like something that most people think is dumb. And I get it. I mean, it's really hard to just go out there and say that you enjoy something that's strange to enjoy. I mean, look what happens when people just openly admit to that kind of thing. Shirley and DJ Pwn3 for only $6.99, so that's about $7 plus tax. That adds up about $13, so I can get these two. Yay! But to tie it back into the idea of the ironic weeb, I think it really comes down to two kinds of people that this label gets applied to. The first being somebody who uses that shield of ironic detachment to try to hide from the fact that they themselves are, by every definition, what somebody would generally consider a weeb. They don't want to be associated with the fandom, they don't want to be labeled as such, and so they outwardly try to hide it or try to criticize and shit on weebs specifically because they don't want to be one. And on that note, I do want to acknowledge that I understand that my channel name is kind of feeding into that a little bit, but I at least try to think of that particular use of it as more of a self-awareness and self-deprecation and less of a shitting on other people kind of a thing. And the other category seems to be people that are pretty much in it for the memes. The conventional conception of this type of person seems to be that they like to post anime memes, they have some kind of cropped hentai as their Steam profile picture, and they engage in all the memery, but they don't actually watch anime, save for maybe one or two of the most popular shows in a season. They're constantly shitposting, they're constantly fucking up discussion about anime by people who are real fans, just out of some kind of twisted contempt for actual anime fans. And I can understand the rationale for viewing people in this way, because it sort of allows you to separate yourself from that annoying, shit-posty kind of individual. And it is, a lot of the time, genuinely difficult to determine if they're actually being serious. And that's sort of compounded by the fact that these people tend to lean into the skid of anime cringiness. They tend to take those creepy, uncomfortable parts and drag it up to the top. So you've got a lot of jokes about hentai and tentacles and dakimakuras and onaholes and waifus and all of these things. And there's that ironic detachment. Nobody could possibly ever take any of that seriously. Nobody could possibly ever genuinely be in love with an anime character and sit in front of their computer with a birthday cake on that character's birthday and stare at the screen and feel some kind of genuine affection for this 2D miracle of, of the universe and just really feel like 3D is a dead end and 2D is life. But here's the thing, those people do exist. So you better keep that shield of irony up, because otherwise, someone might think you're one of them. So here's where things start to get a little more murky, because the trouble with irony is that you can never really tell when someone's being ironic or when they're being genuine. That's where that lean into the skid mentality sort of comes from. You have to really, really go full absurdity. Otherwise, there's a danger that people might think you're serious. And with this post-pose law sort of internet that we're on, and with sarcasm and self-aware humor, it becomes very difficult to tell who's memeing who anymore. Are Umaru shit posters actually shit posting ironically, or do they actually have shit taste? Do they actually like this horrible garbage and post Umaru on the front page because they want it there, and not just because they want to piss everyone off? Is it a mixture of both? Because in the end, 
Ironic shitposting is still shitposting. The people that use the term ironic weeb are using it because they believe that these people can't actually like these garbage flavor of the month shows that they're constantly memeing and posting to shit up actual discussion about anime that are worth giving a damn about. That instead of enjoying it like some kind of a dumpster fire, they're actively ironically enjoying it just to annoy other people. But what about things that are less obviously horrendous? Something like SAO, or Attack on Titan. Yeah, they're bad, but there are plenty of people that unironically enjoy them. So why is it that someone who enjoys a shit show like Umaru gets called an ironic weeb, whereas somebody who watches something like Attack on Titan gets called a casual? In both cases, it's just somebody having shit taste, and wanting to post about a show that you don't like. Well, clearly that comes from the perception of the show, at least to some degree. Attack on Titan, Sword Art Online, Naruto, Bleach, these are seen as being very big and popular shows, so of course they're considered to be something entry-level. Something that, of course, normies would enjoy. But something like Umaru, or something like Eromanga Sensei, or Ora Emo, these contain the kind of themes and the kind of stories that are not quite as widely popular or socially acceptable. So of course, only really weeby kind of individuals would enjoy them. But they're garbage, right? So nobody could really enjoy them, so it's obviously shit posters just memeing about it and being ironic. And here we see again, being ironic means it can't be enjoyed genuinely. In this way, calling someone an ironic weeb is a way to delegitimize them. If there's someone that shits on anime, well clearly they secretly like anime so their opinion is invalid. And if there's someone that likes what you don't like, well clearly they're doing it ironically because they couldn't genuinely enjoy it and they're just trying to piss people off. In both cases, the person's enjoyment of something is being questioned and being attacked. And their validity as a fan of anime is brought into question. So essentially, Calling someone an ironic weeb is basically the modern equivalent of telling them to go back to Gaia. Ah, and therein lies the rub. In the end, when you call someone an ironic weeb, all you're really doing is calling them a casual. An insult as old as time. And this is something I'd really like to explore. I want to delve into why we feel the need to exclude individuals from certain fandoms, whether it be the anime fandom or any fandom. Why we want to force out casuals, or not take them seriously. So in the next episode, I'm going to take a look at casuals, posers, and the necessity of gatekeeping. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next one.